Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look on the DXY as well because currently even though Bitcoin is pumping again and everything it looks like that we are gearing up again towards 40k and way higher there are still some big warning signs and still some problems. So what we want to see is that Bitcoin is successfully recovering out of this bearish pattern that we had here since the last couple of hours. This head and shoulders pattern that we could be forming in the four hour time frame. And currently we are not out of the woods, my friends. So even though we had here this breakout, there are still some big warning signs that could take Bitcoin again towards this 20K area, the estimated price level in case that here we are not going to go higher and take out here this 42,000 all time high that we created for now. And also there are some big warning signs forming in the DXY, which is of course very bearish for Bitcoin and overall also for the stock market. So we're going to have a look what Bitcoin has to do right now in order to be again in our uptrend towards 47 to potentially $63,000, our next potential levels. And of course, also what could be the bearish scenario if here we're gonna see a big rejection, what could be the target? because currently in the four hour time frame, even though we had here this nice pump yesterday, also if you were following and trading this breakout, you could have done some very nice gains here because yesterday we created this potential ascending triangle here that you can also see in the lower time frames like here, the one hour. Also we confirmed it by this double bottom and also the breakout out of this resistance here at $36,600. If you have access to my own indicator then you would have seen that yesterday we broke out to the upside from the EMA ribbons and also we got two very nice buy signals when we created this double bottom here. So congratulations if you took this long opportunity but make sure that you lock in the profits and also put a stop loss loss in profits because this can turn around very very easy my friends so far we are not out of the woods yet and that's why we have to analyze now very carefully here the four hour and daily time frame so in the four hour currently the good thing is that we are trading again above all the moving averages and this is what we want to see during an uptrend so let's see if we can maintain here the price above $36,800 here in the four hour time frame. So we shouldn't close a four hour candle again below this price level. Therefore, we should expect here also breakout to the upside from this resistance line that we have here out of our head and shoulders pattern. So as you can see here, Bitcoin has this red trend line here as a resistance and currently is perfectly playing out here. You can see that we got rejected now two times times already. Of course, the more we test this trend line, the more weaker it gets. And therefore we should expect then a big breakout to the upside, which will take us at least towards $42,000, potentially even higher. And also like that, create a new all time high. But as long as we're not closing a four hour candle above this trend line, which currently is at around $39,000, we could have also here a big rejection, then a big drop towards our main support currently at around $34,000 and then have here the play out of this head and shoulders pattern. We then completed the right shoulder and then we're going to have the big crash to the downside, which will take us approximately at around 20K. Therefore, we have to go over into the weekly time frame to see the possible target, but we have covered this also in previous videos. So let's now focus on the data that we have right now. So everything is pointing out that we will remain here trading within this rising wedge that is coming here if the price is not able to push higher than $39,000. So currently I'm expecting the price to move along here this rising wedge until we're gonna see a breakout. And this can happen maybe today or in the next couple of days but we have to see where we're gonna break out here because this is going to be very relevant to see in which direction Bitcoin will be moving in the next couple of days and weeks so far everything is still looking good 
even though there are some warning signs but overall the 4 hour time frame recovered for now and we should expect continuation to the upside. The last thing that is missing here is here this breakout from $39,000 also start to close 4 hour candles above and then move again towards 42,000 and potentially even towards 47,000 in the not so distant future. And also if you have a look into the Bollinger Bands, you can see that Bitcoin now recovered back into the bullish area here. We are trading right at the top, so a possible retracement back down to these two moving averages here between 36,000 and 35,000 is possible. If they get tested and got supported, then this might be a good long opportunity if Bitcoin confirms it as a new support and then have a big bounce to the upside and potentially also break $39,000. The only problem is that currently we have a very overbought stochastic so here I'm expecting this possible retest of these two moving averages and therefore of course although we have to keep an eye on the stochastic if we are able to cool it off down to oversold condition and then confirm these two moving averages as a support then I think we could be good to go for a big bounce to the upside and that could be a good long opportunity but be careful that if these two moving averages are not supported we could fall straight again towards $31,500 and therefore or then I'm expecting also a big breakout to the downside out of this potential bearish head and shoulders pattern that we still have in the four hour. And now let's go back into the Bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame. Because here you can see that yesterday we closed exactly at the nine daily moving average. And right now we are trading above this important moving average that always held as a very strong support during our uptrend. So if today we can close above $37,800, then I'm expecting here big continuation to the upside and also here possible breakout to the upside from this bearish rising wedge that we are also creating right now because after this correction that we had back down to the 20 daily moving average you can see that this held as a very strong support we also cooled off the RSI now here in the daily and right now we have a lot of room left to the upside if we are able to close again above the nine daily moving average then I'm expecting big continuations here to the upside also for the lower time frames we shouldn't see any bigger correction in coming soon only if here we are getting heavily rejected and we are starting to crash again towards the 20 daily moving average and then potentially also lose this as a support then I think we could be in a massive correction towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is lining up right here at $18,500 exactly at the 0.618 FIB retracement based on the bottom that we had in March last year and the local top here at $42,000 that would be my opinion really the worst case scenario where Bitcoin could be heading to if something is going to happen that will lead into this big crash. So a retest of this important moving average in the weekly I think could be happening if we're gonna see this play out from the head and shoulders pattern that we still have in the four hour time frame. Most likely here at the nine weekly moving average here at $26,000 or the 0.382 FIB retracement at around $27,000 dollar will be an initial support here but if things are going to get worse and worse and if people are starting to panic sell then we could maybe even see a possible wick here down towards the 20 weekly moving average so keep in mind that if you're opening longs or if you want to put some buy orders make sure to put it here between the nine weekly moving average and the 20 if you want to try to catch some cheaper bitcoin prices if we're gonna see this play out so if we're gonna fall here to the downside and getting heavy heavily rejected in this area where we are right now because even though Bitcoin is still looking very bullish in the bigger time frames and also in my yesterday's video I explained to you why it is still good to buy Bitcoin at 40k at 30k at the end it really doesn't matter what price level you're buying but important is that you're buying Bitcoin and be prepared for the next parabolic rise because Bitcoin will go above 100k approximately towards the end of this year so at the end it really doesn't matter really much if you're buying right now or if we're gonna have a crash towards 20k important is only that you're buying and DCA into Bitcoin regularly the best is always if you buy every week or every month a little bit of Bitcoin and like this you will have a perfect average entry 
price, especially for the next big parabolic move that will come very, very soon. It is possible that we're gonna see this possible crash here towards these two moving averages, but overall Bitcoin is in an uptrend. And even though we could expect such a correction, make sure that you DCA as much as possible into Bitcoin because for the long run, you will be doing very fine. And next to the danger that we still have from this head and shoulders pattern in the four hour time frame, there is of course also the fact that we are still very overbought in the weekly. I think it's just a matter of time till here, we're also gonna have to cool off a little bit, potentially down to one of these two moving averages and then gear up for our next big move to the upside because also here the weekly RSI, we still have to cool it off a little bit. I think that we are still very overbought here and the correction is still overdue so what we have seen so far is in my opinion not really a big correction we didn't cool off here many things only a little bit the indicators in the lower time frames but the bigger ones are still very overbought and until the end of the year there are still many months to go my friends so within those months can happen many things and that's why I think sooner or later we will see a correction and therefore you have to be prepared to buy more Bitcoin at cheaper prices and don't go and panic sell but just selling right now because you hope that we're gonna see a crash and then you can buy cheaper in is a very big mistake my friends and like that you can really lose a lot of money so only be mentally prepared to buy big stacks of Bitcoin if we're gonna see a huge crash otherwise just keep it hodl it and wait until at least the end of this year if you don't believe me or if you didn't watch my yesterday's video where I explain you why that is the fact that you should buy and hodl Bitcoin at least by the end of this year then watch the video that I did yesterday I will also add it in the recommended videos at the end of this video I think with this video we hit a record my friends thank you again very much for all your views for all your likes and subscriptions to my channel very much appreciated your support my friends so let's go together through this year make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also feel free to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome so now we have covered Bitcoin here you can clearly see what we have to do here in the next couple of hours and days in order to be back on track here with our uptrend and expect the price to go higher and higher so here we know now what to look at and what kind of resistances we need to break in order to continue to create higher highs here and not see here the bearish scenario which could take us towards these two important weekly moving averages that I showed you so now I want to show you the DXY my friends because here we have some problems that are coming up in my opinion which could not only affect the Bitcoin price but also the stock market and here you see the US dollar index which currently is still getting rejected by the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame the problem is that here the four hour is starting to look more bullish and bullish because you see that all the moving averages are coming very very close to the 200 moving average and that is a very very dangerous sign my friends if the DXY is able to push higher than the 200 moving average and start to create a support above so if we are bringing here all the moving averages above the 200 moving average then the DXY could enter in a possible uptrend here at least for the short term and the target is here in the daily time frame the possible target is here the 100 daily moving average which in the past also acted as a resistance once we were breaking out from this falling wedge that the DXY is still in it and in the worst case scenario we could even have a big jump towards here the 200 daily moving average right at 94 dollars because this area is also a very important new potential resistance area for the DXY so between 92 to 94 dollars this acted previously as a support you can see that here we we had a long consolidation phase before then we continued to crash lower and if the DXY is going to go into an uptrend in the lower time frames this could be very dangerous for the Bitcoin price and also for the stock market we could see at least a short-lived crash that could also be maybe the reason why the head and shoulders pattern in the Bitcoin price right now could play out because of the DXY if here we are able to push higher and break out from this resistance that we have right now and the DXY is still fighting with this resistance so the more we test it the more we fight 
right with this resistance the weaker it gets and the more likelier it is that we're gonna break out here to the upside and also here my own indicator you can see that this red line here the nine daily moving average now turned into green and as long the daily closes are above the 20 and 9 daily moving average we should expect the price to go again higher and higher only if we are going to close again daily candles below $90 then I think this possible breakout to the upside is denied and we will continue to fall lower and lower here into the DXY but as you can see my friends the DXY is in a very critical point we could expect here a possible big move to the upside anytime soon as soon as here we're going to break out to the upside as soon as we're gonna close four hour candles now above the 200 moving average and we are very very close to do so then we could see a big correction in the stock market in the Bitcoin price and a big pump in the DXY so the DXY currently is on a very critical point we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside pretty soon or a big rejection which will take us at least again towards $89 and therefore of course we're gonna see another big pump in the Bitcoin price if this happens so we have to cover also the DXY my friends we also have to have a very close eye on what is going on here in the DXY in the next couple of hours and days I think this will give the answer also to where the Bitcoin price is going to go next if we're gonna see here a major correction or if we're gonna continue to pump here towards new all-time highs and this is only valid my friends if Bitcoin is still inverse correlated to the DXY why we have seen also in the past that sometimes when the DXY was pumping Bitcoin was also pumping so this is only valid if we still have an inverse correlation what we have also seen in the past so we have seen both scenarios so let's wait and see what will happen here once the DXY is gonna decide if we're gonna break out here to the upside or if here we're gonna get rejected and then we're gonna see big continuations to the upside of course in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market so now you have seen the situation that we have right now my friends we need more data we need more price action to see where we're gonna head to next now you know where you should keep your eyes on and what are the expectations here for the continuation to the upside or although if you're gonna lose here the support what are the possible targets to the downside of course in the four hour we are still in an uptrend even though we had this correction but we didn't even come close to the 200 moving average which currently is here $28,400 here I'm also expecting some support even if we have here a big dump so watch out also for the 200 moving average in the four hour but if we're gonna lose here this support here at around 30k I think also the 200 moving average will most likely not save us and then we're gonna see continuation to the downside to our bearish targets but let's wait and see my friends so far Bitcoin is still pumping and this is what we want to see of course so everything is still looking again more bullish than bearish at the moment but let's wait and see we still need a bit more data to confirm that we are again in an uptrend so if you're looking for new entries to open up a long position over on Bybit or Freemax maybe wait a little bit unless of course you are already in a position then it's always good to put a stop loss just to lock in the profits and if you also want to take advantage when Bitcoin is going down or up then you can do this over on Bybit and Femex the best because here you can long Bitcoin you can short Bitcoin so you can make profits wherever the price is going and if you still need an account make sure to use my referral links down below here because with my links you support the channel and also you will get some extra bonus if you fulfill all the requirements and currently we have also this special jackpot bonus going on on Bybit where you can get up to $500 in bonus if you put a minimum deposit like you can see down below here and if you also want to try to multiply your bitcoins when we're going up or down but you don't feel too much comfortable in trading yourself with leverage then try out prime xpt because here you can copy trade other successful traders you can sign up only with your email with my link down below here no kyc nothing just register put some bitcoin over there and then you can just copy trade other traders just click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow and everything is working automatically here you don't have to do anything when you're following another trader the only thing that you can do is to set a stop loss once you're in profit for example so like that also here you can lock in some nice gains and for all the new people that are joining yet the market make sure to use Swissborg, coinbase and binance if you want to buy 
Bitcoin or other altcoins. These are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. And since currently we have a lot of new Coinbase users, they sent me now additional links to claim some free altcoins. So if you're using Coinbase, you can earn completely for free some of these altcoins. So try out all the links here if you can get some of them. These are my invitation links where you should be able immediately to claim these free altcoins over on Coinbase because otherwise the waiting time is a couple of weeks if you don't use invitation links. So definitely try it out if you have Coinbase. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for all your support. I very much appreciate all your efforts and also all your likes that you're leaving in the videos. So make sure also to be subscribed here on the channel. I do daily TA videos and of course, I keep you always updated on the price action. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.